welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a collaboration video with my friend here on YouTube as well as Instagram. Her channel is called Makeup and Travel and I will go ahead and link it down in my description box as her Instagram account, which I believe is called Kaz8Makeup, but it's spelled kind of different, so I will link both of those down below. But basically how we met was she was so sweet and she recreated one of my makeup looks. You know, that was kind of trendy, um, where people would do like a makeup look or recreate a makeup look from one of their YouTube friends or like one of their favorite YouTubers or whatever and I was so flattered that was so cool and that's kind of how we first met and we talk on Instagram all the time and she is a deeper skin tone than me and so it's so fun for us to kind of talk and share our viewpoints on makeup products because she has a very different complexion for me so it's so exciting. She also loves color and she loves to travel. I believe she's maybe on a no buy. I'm not 100% sure, but I really, really enjoy her content and she has a very chill voice. Like, it's very soothing and I don't really know exactly how to ex explain it, but I would say very soothing. Like, very, just like, very relaxed voice. So, anyway, without further blabbering, the both of us decided that it would be fun to film a video sharing some of our favorite shimmery blushes because you guys know I've been just like on and on about how much I love a glowy blush lately and so she reached out or I reached out or I don't even know and we decided to collab on this so I did go through my blush drawer and collect some of my favorite shimmery blushes so if you guys are curious to see just keep watching okay so the first thing I want to start off with is just to get this giant palette out of the way I'm gonna show you guys my favorite glowy blush from Colourpop and I have it in this big palette because it's just easy for me to keep them all here and my favorite is so retrograde. This is a shade that Kathleen Lights created in one of her collections with Colourpop and I feel like this is such a beautiful color. I feel like this is my dupe to NARS Taj Mahal which uh, Kaz actually featured in her video and I was like oh my god you have Taj Mahal and she was like yeah I was like oh my gosh I've always wanted that color but NARS blushes to me are now like so expensive when I can get like a Colourpop blush or like an affordable drugstore blush. So I have resisted that blush for many years. It's eluded me. I have always wanted to own it, but I feel like So Retrograde is a decent dupe of it. And I love that ColourPop formula. It is very shimmery and beautiful and I don't know, it's just lovely. And then if you are, you know, of a lighter skin tone, she did come out with some other shades as well. She has this one called My Sun and Stars and then two other lighter ones, which I have no idea where they are. I think this might be one of them. I think I bought all of them. I can't remember. This is I Need Space. It's a little too light for me. Um, so I might need to sell that one on like Poshmark or something, but So Retrograde is so good. It's my favorite. Okay, next is something that's a little bit older in my collection, but you guys should still be able to buy this. This is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. This is the one that is for lighter skin tones, but there's two beautiful glowy, very, very pigmented blushes in here called Sola and Zoba, and usually you can get Juvia's Place on a good, good sale, so you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy this blush palette and it's stunning. They're so stunning, so pigmented, and even these matte blushes, like I can see so many different complexions being able to pull this off. So love that so, so much. Next are, again, two oldies in my collection. These are the Milani Baked Powder Blushes in Red Vino and Berry Amore. I'm so jealous because Milani created a vault of all their baked blushes and I'm like, I want it, but I, I won't buy it. It's like 70 bucks for a bunch of blushes, but Red Vino is like my OG. This is such a great winter blush and it's glowy and it's so beautiful on my tan skin. I love this so much and it is a drugstore option if you're looking for a glowy blush, with, which makes me so, so happy. And then Berry Amore is just like a beautiful neutral nude blush that's just gonna make you like glow, which is awesome. Love those 
so much. I'm gonna keep saying love those so much in this whole video. You guys just know it. So the next ones are from Melt. This is like a blush highlighter hybrid. So if you're deeper than me, this would make stunning highlighter on you. I kind of wear it like on my apples because um, I think I can pull it off as a blush as well. This is Genesis. So stunning. I love peachy, glowy blushes. And then this one called Sundown, and this is actually called a blush light. So it is a blush highlighter hybrid. Oh, this is so stunning. It's a beautiful nude um, with a glow. Oh, it's so pretty. And they have so many other shades like this. And I want more, but I don't need more because I have plenty, but I hope Melt continues to grow their blush light line because their stunning formula. Love it so, so much. Um, this guy, Lovejoy from MAC, is stunning as well. I don't know what made me pick this up, but their like mineralized formula, blush formula, they have so many beautiful shades. This is just like a great everyday nude and I love this blush. It's a fun color. I think the baked blushes would be a good dupe for this, but if you're feeling bougie, you can pick that up. One of my all-time favorite glowy blushes is this guy. This is Sunset from Kevin Aquan. Can you guys see why I love this? It's a peachy glowy blush. I love these shades. They make me look like I've been outside and just gotten the perfect amount of cold just like hitting my cheeks. It's just it's so beautiful. I love it. It's pricey, but this is my favorite shade. I tried some of the other shades and I don't love them as much as I love Sunset. These guys from Wet n Wild, I don't know if you can buy these anymore, but these came out with their like bird collection and I have all three, but for blush, I wanted to show you guys these two. So I have Don't Flutter Yourself and Dare Do Soar. So beautiful. I think they'll come out with these more in like different collections. I don't know why I decided to start swatching, but look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love these and they're so affordable. It's so nice that the drugstore has so many glowy blush options in my opinion. So another good glowy blush formula is Hourglass. And there's two blushes in here in this palette. I don't own any of the Hourglass full-size blushes because do I look like I need more full-size anything? So I don't have full-size ones to show you, but these are so beautiful. They blend so nicely on the skin and they give you that sheen. Oh my God, you just look expensive when you wear these. And on the same token, I would say the same thing about these guys from the Ignite Wonder Face Palette. So gorgeous. These blushes are both glowy and so stunning. And I don't know if these are part of their permanent collection. I have no idea, but it's Any Wonder, Seven Wonders, and Wonder Years. Super pretty. And of course, this packaging really sold it to me. Love this palette from MAC. Okay, so two of my, again, all-time favorites, Natasha Denona Duo Glow in Alba. Oh my god, it's a peachy, glowy blush. Like, you guys already know why I love this. It's so stunning. I want Natasha to make more shades of this formula. Like, why she hasn't done that yet, I'm confused about. She's got two shades. There's a pink one which Angelica has actually and loves. And she, Angelica actually wants Alba. I don't want the pink one because I don't really want to fucks with like pink blushes, but I love Alba so much, like so, so much. Okay, and then last but certainly not least is this Becca Highlighter Mineral Blush in Songbird. And I think these are discontinued, but maybe you can find them at like TJ Maxx or something. Ugh. So pretty, so sheeny and peachy, and I just, I just don't know what to do with myself. I just love it so much. It's such a beautiful color. It has like a hint of sparkle, but it's not like glitter, and it's just, oh, it's so stunning. Hopefully you guys can find that. And then last but certainly not least, are two that are pretty new to my collection. These are technically highlighters, I believe is how they're being marketed, but I like them as blushes. These are both from the brand Nabla, and I have Truth and Adults Only, and I'm wearing Adults Only today. 
Oh my god, look at this. I think this is such a great dupe for Ruby Riches from Fenty. I didn't want to pay Fenty's price for a blush, so I picked these up when they restocked at Ulta, and I think they are so, so lovely and delicious, and since I like the formula so much, these are like a big gelée. I actually purchased a highlighter as well, because I just feel like they work so well with my skin, so... Very, very excited to get the highlighter in. And, and yeah, that is it for my favorite glowy blushes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like at the end of 2020, I'm gonna have even more glowy blush favorites because I really feel like they're hitting the mainstream and more and more brands are coming out with glowy blushes. So it's very, very exciting to me. So let me know what you guys' favorite glowy blushes down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and check out Makeup and Travel and her video because she's got some great recommendations for people with deeper skin tones. And also, please subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you because I would love for her to have more followers and continue on her makeup journey. She's so, so sweet. Other than that, just remember, I have a giveaway, link is in my description box, you guys can go ahead and enter that, that ends at the end of December, and I am doing Vlogmas, so I will see you guys in my video tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for watching, thank you so much for the collab, and I will see you soon. Bye guys!